Holland Mertanga players, please. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Adhyana Timirandhasya Dhyana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Svapadantikam Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> really want to offer my gratitude and prostrated obeisances, respectful obeisances, affectionate obeisances at the lotus feet of each one of you, starting with the most wonderful loving kids who are sitting ahead. What is your name, Prabhu? Power pack names. What are you? Gauranga Krishna. Hari Nandan. So I am here protected by the Panchatatwa. Stations <laughs> from the. <laughs> I want to offer my obeisances to the temple management headed by Narahari Chaitanya Prabhu and Suvarna Gaurahari Prabhu for kindly welcoming us. All three of us, my father Shamchandra Prabhu, my mother Sundari Mataji and this insignificant self here. Want to thank each one of you for kindly coming in. I am very scared by seeing how many devotees are looking straight into my eyes. <laughs> so the best thing to do is beg for your blessings. Please offer your blessings. Best wishes, prayers, may the right words come at the right time, in the right mood of service. May it cleanse our consciousness, give transcendental pleasure to our ears and take our heart closer and closer to the eternal service of Shri Shri Radha Vinod. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So today's discussion is going to be very short. I thought the mic stopped. Taddinam Durdinam Manye Mega Chadam Durdinam. Is there some echo? Some echo? Is there some reverberation? Some echo? 
It's from the acoustics. Okay. Is everyone able to hear? You don't have to hear, but if you wish to. <laughs> is the voice coming through even at the end? Okay. Okay, I'm getting some thumbs up from the back. Thank you. Taddinam durdinam manye mega chadam na durdinam yaddinam krishna samlapam katha piyusha varjitam. Traditionally, the day when you have very nice, beautiful, wonderful weather, bright sunlight, that day is considered to be a good day. And when you have gloomy weather, very cold, drizzling rain, potholes, water all over the place, it's not considered to be a good day because you can go out, you can't do anything. But Narada Muni has said, Yaddinam Krishna Samlapam Katha Piyusha Varjitam That day where we are bereft of the opportunity to sing for Krishna and hear about Krishna and speak about Krishna, Narada Muni says, in my opinion, that day is a bad day. Whether it rains or it doesn't rain. Yesterday it rained, today it's not raining. But every day is a good day if we have the association of devotees like all of you. Ayur Harati Vai Pumsam Udhyam Astam Chayan Asau Tasyarthe Yat Kshanonita Uttama Shloka Vartaya Srimad Bhagavatam describes as the sun rises and sets with every rise and every set he has sipped into the glass of our life just like when you get something nice to drink the children put the straw and they try to grasp as much as they can into their mouth the sun is also like that he has multiple straws by the way into multiple cups each one of our life is a cup and one sun he has straws going into the cups of all of our lives and from sunrise to sunset and after sipping into one day of our life the sun sets and then comes rejuvenated again next day are you harati bhagavatam cannot lie Srila Gaurgovinda Maharaj would say, Your best friend is Srimad Bhagavatam. And he would ask his disciples, Do you know why? And the disciples say, Gurudev, we don't know why. He would say, Because this friend never lies. He always speaks the truth. Srimad Bhagavatam is saying, Are you who Harati? Is it true? Why? In Sanskrit, why means indeed. Khalu etad. Really, this is the truth. Ayuhu harati vai pumsam Bahuachan prayog of all Nrunam of everyone Ayuhu harati vai pumsam Uddhyan astam chayan asau By his rising and setting he is taking away our life Except for one person Uttama shloka vartaya That person who is singing and hearing about Krishna The sun cannot steal from him why? Because he is busy. This listener or the speaker of Srimad Bhagavatam is busy speaking and listening about a person who is a greater thief. <laughs> Krishna. If the son is stealing, he is a thief. But he is not Chauragra Ganya Purusham. He is not the king among thieves. That is our Brajendra Nandan Krishna. So Bhagavatam describes, if you take shelter of the higher thief, all the lower thieves, they make way. They would say he is under the direct department head of thievery. Because you can see, when the sun rises and the sun sets, he drags the living entity closer to death. Yes or yes? But however, the person who is speaking about Krishna, hearing about Krishna, reading about Krishna, singing about Krishna, the sun is taking that person one day closer back to Radha Vinod. Our 
eternal aspiration is to go back home back to God it and the son is saying I will help you you are hearing about my Ram who is a Surya Vanshi I will take you to where he is so he rises and sets very quickly and doesn't steal life but actually steals our material existence because the person who is not speaking, singing, reading, writing remembering Krishna he is going to death and after death punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jathare shayanam ihasam sare bahudu stare kripaya apare pahi murare in one place I was attempting to say this verse and I just said punarapi jananam punarapi maranam and I asked the devotees right they couldn't figure out which verse this was and this was in South India then I understood the tune has to be different <laughs> then I sang Bhaja Govinda Bhaja Govinda Govinda Bhaja Mudamate then everyone smiled like this <laughs> MS Subalakshmi is Bhaja Govindam Shri Adi Shankaracharya's composition so when we don't remember Krishna son is taking us to rebirth and when we remember Krishna he's taking us back home back to Godhead what should we remember about Krishna Bhagavatam describes our Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam has answers to everything ask a question and Bhagavatam will answer with a verse so our Srimad Bhagavatam has said Tadaiva Ramyam Ruchiram Navam Navam Tadaiva Shashwat Manaso Mahotsavam Tadaiva Shokar Namasho Sanandranam Yad Uttama Shloka Yasho Nugiyate 12th Canto, 12th Chapter Bhagavatam Spend all day and night singing, remembering about Krishna just keep singing about Krishna talking about Krishna Machitta Madgata Prana Bodhayanta Parasparam Katayanta Shchamam Nityam Tushyanti Charamanti Krishna has said in the Gita Machitta give your mind to me Madgata Prana become lifeless for me Bodhayanta Parasparam and when you are alive find another devotee friend and keep speaking to him about Krishna the greatest friend in this world is he who reminds you of Krishna who is saying this? Nilkantha Goswami a very great Vaishnava Acharya he says Sa Guru Sa Pita Chapi Sa Mata Bandhavo Pisa Shiksha Yeche Sada Smartum Harer Nama Iva Kevalam that person who reminds us of Krishna who speaks to us about Krishna who listens when we speak about Krishna who speaks and lets us listen and reads together about Krishna sings kirtans with us about Krishna serves together with us the lotus feet of Krishna you're going for a preaching program comes together serving Krishna together that person Sir Guru he is your Guru Sir Pita he is your father Sa Mata he is your mother Bandhava Pisaha and he is also your friend he shikshaye chet sada smartum harer nama iva kevalam who is always telling us don't remember anything else smartavyam sadatam vishnum vismartavyo no jatu chit sarve vidhi nishedas yur etayor eva king karaha vishnu puran remember krishna and never forget krishna so bhagavatam says constantly sing about krishna and when the then the question could be how can we sing the same pastimes again and again Putana story is not going to change Arishthar story is still going to be the, the same he is going to still remain a bull you can't say next time I will discuss Arishthar Sur and Arishthar Sur now will become an owl doesn't work like that right so therefore Bhagavatam says Tadaiva Ramyam Ruchiram Navam Navam Srimad Bhagavatam pastimes are attractive and very tasty and ever fresh but you have to hear from the lips of a sadhu who is tasting it many times we can see reading Bhagavatam is wonderful it is certainly wonderful 
but if you can have a sadhu who can open it up for you that is even better reading is wonderful hearing is wonderful but between the two Srimad Bhagavatam says that Shrunvan first hear then Supatan then read and now hearing and reading put together in vicharana paro meditate contemplate remember memorize what you have written speak to others discuss what will happen bhakti abhimuchen naraha bhakti will rise in the heart and repeated birth and death broken forever one will go back home back to godhead as an eternal associate of krishna how beautiful it is described in Srila Rupa Goswami's works. As soon as a person starts speaking about Krishna, Chitragupta starts tearing all his books. <laughs> Why? Because he has written all these sins. Jiva Parad, Vaishnava Parad, Nama Parad, Dhamma Parad, Seva Parad, Guru Parad, Prarabdha, Prarabdha, Kutam, Bijam, Akarma, Vikarma, Sakarma, Kukarma, all the karmas are written. And then this person starts singing about Krishna, speaking about Krishna, doing Kirtan, Na Chitra Gupta understands. Oh. <laughs> Only if I had known this is how he is going to change, why would I have written so much? So he has torn millions of books like this. Where is it written? Anu Likhyanantam Tadapiradham Madhupate. As soon as a person chants the holy name and remembers Krishna with all his heart. Anu likhyan antam tad aparadham madhupate As soon as a person remembers Madhupati Shri Krishna, all the aparad are born to ashes. Just by remembering. Yasya smarana matre na janma samsara bandhanat vimuchyate namastasmai For this you don't need the tune, right? Yasya smarana matre na janma samsara bandhanat Vimuchyate namastasmai Om namo vishnave Shri Vaishampai navvacha How amazing! We never knew that we had planned a Vishnu Sahasanam Parayan tonight. <laughs> what does the word say? Yasya smarana matre na janma samsara bandhanat Vimuchyate Not muchyate Vishesha Rupena Muchyate Which means as soon as the person remembers Shri Hari All the sins, everything, past, present, future, everything Karmani Nirdhati Kintu Cha Bhakti Bhaja Past, present, future, born to ashes Jump into this ocean, that's all Sometimes we are not ready, so a sadhu comes and pushes us <laughs> And now we are in this water Just by remembering Krishna, this is the power. So when we speak about Krishna, you have to remember Him. When we are hearing about Krishna, we have to remember Him. When you read about Krishna, we have to remember Him. When you sing about Krishna, we have to remember Him. This is the power. Therefore, Krishna says, give your mind to me. Ananya cheta satatam yo maam smarati nityashaha tasyaham sulabha partha. In the Gita, Krishna said, I am very easily attained by that person who constantly remembers me. Ananya chintayanto maam. Chintayanto maam. Ananya. Na anya iti ananya. Nothing else, Krishna says. Don't remember anyone. Only me. Out of affection, Krishna is saying. Again and again Krishna says, Man mana, Baba, remember me. Mai asakta mana, give your mind to me. Tesham satata yuktanam, constantly be engaged in my service. How many words you see? Tushyan teacher, Raman teacher, as you do this, you will enjoy seeing you, I will enjoy. Tushyanti, Raman ti. How beautiful. Who will not take up to this process? Klesha Gni Rupa Goswami Pada has written in Bhakti Rasa Amrit Sindhu First thing you remember Krishna all your problems are gone Now in this assembly who is that person who feels lusty? Who is that person who is feeling envious? Who is that person who is feeling angry? We leave all those shoes outside 
And when we come here and we are remembering Krishna, everyone is only smiling. This is the test of the process. So therefore, Tadaiva Ramyam Ruchiram Navam Navam Tadaiva Shashwat Manaso Mahotsava By remembering Krishna, there is a festival. What festival? Bhavotsave na bhajatam rasakam dhenum Bhavotsava We know Janmashtami Utsava, Radhashtami Utsava Here it is described by remembering Krishna, chanting his name, speaking about him, singing about him and engaging in his service Bhavotsave na bhajatam rasakam dhenum It is the festival of the heart Shashwat manaso mahotsavam You don't need anyone around You and Srimad Bhagavatam Aha you and beadbag, aha. You and Krishna, DT from aha. You and a Vaishnav, and you're discussing about Krishna, aha. You're just worshipping the deity on the altar, aha. You're just making garlands, and you know this flower garland is going to touch the chest of Radha Vinod, aha. What else is there? Everything else outside will be taken away by time. Everything else. If we are feeling happy in the association of a brother, sister, son, daughter, husband, wife, father, mother, grandson, granddaughter, everything will be taken away with time. Either they will be taken away from us or we will be taken away from them. So if we invest all our joy in that relation, then when it is taken away, dukkham. Yehi samsparshaja bhoga dukhayo naya evate adhyanta vanta kaunteya nateshu ramate budaha Gita. Therefore, we must invest all our joy propensity in that eternal relationship which will never break. We are eternal. Radha Vinod is eternal. Our service to them is eternal. If we redefine our joy in their service, they will never die, we will never die, our service to them will never stop. This is going forever and increasing with time. Eternally happy. But what to do? Conditioned over so many lifetimes, we are begging for joy from others who are also begging for joy from others. Krishna is ready to give joy. He is the Karuna Sindhu, He is the ocean. Each one of us are only Bindu, not Sindhu. And we are begging Sindhu joy from Bindus around. Can you give me? Can you give me? Can you give me? And when we invest in a relation and that person is not fulfilling your propensity to enjoy or be happy, then we blame that person. Then we break that relation and we say, another person. We break this friendship, another friend. We break this marriage, another marriage. We break this partnership, another partnership. But the point is, The one who created it has stamped it. But if you want joy, Perform bhakti and you will see the whole world is joyful. Wherever we go, Krishna's eternal associates are there. Hari bol. Wherever you go, you can chant and remember Krishna. Hari bol. Joy is not outside. The remote is with you. For that we have to remember Krishna. Sripad Madhvacharya has said something interesting in this regard. Tadaiva shoka arnava shoshanam dranam. This is quite interesting. Bhagavatam says as soon as you remember Krishna, Tadaiva shoka arnava. Shoka means... What does shoka mean? Lamentation, right? Crying, distress, grief. Arnava? Ocean. Tadaiva shoka arnava. Shoshanam. Shoshanam means to dry up. Hearing Krishna katha and performing bhakti will dry up oceans of grief. Now this is little too much, is it not? Oceans of grief? Do we really have oceans of grief? No. World Cup is going on, Baba. <laughs> Where is the ocean of grief? I got to know yesterday. Where is the ocean of grief? I don't think we have ocean of grief. 
we have some grief right shripad madhvacharya has commented and he says over lifetimes we if we calculate how many drops of tears we have cried how many lifetimes we all may have taken four billion five zillion right asankhya unlimited and in every life how many times we may have cried at least 100 times at least 200 times and every time we have dropped tears shripad madhvacharya writes if you collect all those tears it is shokarnavam it is ocean of grief and by hearing krishna katha krishna comes and gives you liberation which means he has dried up all those oceans of tears that you have cried over lifetimes now the interesting question is how do you remember a person that you have not seen can you remember my great grandfather <laughs> even i cannot because i have never seen him i can remember up to my grandfather but not his father because i have not seen how can we remember someone whom we have not seen this predicament has been solved by rukmini's prayers in the bhagavatam rukmini never saw krishna because this excuse living entities can give you krishna you telling me remember me remember me remember me i have never seen you how can i remember you therefore krishna has fit the rukmini pastime krishna has fit the rukmini pastime in the shrimad bhagavatam because rukmini devi never saw krishna and she still wrote a letter on the basis of what hearing what श्रुवा गुणान्भुवन सुंदर शुण्वता निर्विश्य कर्ण विवर हरतापम रुक्मिणी देवी हेज सेड मै लॉर्ड बै हियरिंग युअर क्वालिटी फ्रॉम दिस ब्राह्मण यु नो देर वॉज अ ब्राह्मण हू वुड कम टू रुक्मिणी पैलेस एंड स्पीक अबाउट कृष्ण मै गुरु महाराज से इज इन दिस रिगार्ड दैट वेन कृष्ण अपियर्ड इन दिस वर्ल्ड ही स्टोल द टंग्स ऑफ ऑल द पोएट्स which means all the poets even if they wanted to say something else their tongue would only say krishna 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 huh? the poets would only sing the glories of krishna and this brahmana so kindly bhuvi grananti ye bhuri dajana radha rani has said in the gopi geet tava kathamritam now this also without the tune how in the beginning of the class we said right melody tava katha amritam saying krishna tava means your tava katha amritam krishna's katha is how what does amrita mean nectar but which means to hear it is very nice very very nice aho aho bir nakaler bidhuyate sudha sudhara madhuram pade pade dine dine chandana chandra shitale yasho yashoda tanayasya giyate rup goswami pad has said this is so nectarian hearing krishna katha how many of us agree that it is nectarian to hear krishna katha oh, and all those who have raised their hand raise the other hand also and say hari bo One senior devotee was once telling me, "In Iskcon, you can survive with this one word." 
Hari bol. You want to call someone? Hey, Hari bol. You want to appreciate something? Somebody says this was amazing. Hari bol. You say this year we are having a yatra. Hari bol. You glorify someone. Hari bol. So in all ways you can see, Haribol can be used. Hmm? So Amritam means nectar. Rupa Goswami Pad is saying, hearing Krishna Katha is such nectar. Na kaler vidhuyate. The sun rays called Kali Yuga will not scorch that person who is hearing Krishna Katha. On the other hand, Sudha, Sudhara, Madhuram Pade Pade, Dine Dine Chandana Chandra Sheetale. Imagine if there is somebody who is walking under the sun and you anoint that person with cooling original sandalwood paste. How does it feel? Sense gratification? <laughs> but feels good? That's why we have Chandan Yatra for Krishna also. Right? Over and above that, imagine he is also fanned on both sides as he is walking with Chandan all over his body under the summer afternoon heat. He is being fanned. How does he feel? More sense gratification. <laughs> Imagine on top of that, if the sun is blocked and full moon beams are produced. Fully satisfied? Rupa Goswami Pad has said, when someone is walking under the sun rays of Kali Yuga and they sing, hear, speak about Krishna, they are anointed by the Chandan being fanned on both sides and there's cooling, rejuvenating moon beams because while being in Kali Yuga, they live in Satya Yuga. No karma, no Shastra Viruddha Acharana, nothing against the Shastra. Ya Shastra Vidhi Mutsrujya Vartate Kama Karataha, Nasa Siddhima Vapnoti, Nasukam Na Param Gatim, that person is not breaking principles. So Radharani is saying, Tava Katha, Amritam. Oh Krishna, your katha to hear is so nectarian. At the same time, a mritam, which means it makes sure that that person will not die anymore. Na mritam iti amritam. No more death, which means they get liberated. Tava katha amritam, tapta jivanam. This katha is amrit for whom? Tapta jivanam. For those who are suffering in this world. Who has said it? Kavi bhiriditam. The great kavis. Narada Muni, four Kumaras, Vyasa, Shukadev Goswami, Lord Shiva, everyone has said that Kalma Shapaham, that all your problems will go away. Why? Shravana Mangalam, because hearing Krishna Katha is auspicious. And therefore, those who speak Krishna Katha, Radharani is saying, Bhuvi on earth, Bhuri Dajana, they are the most magnanimous. Because they are giving the dan of joy through Krishna Katha. But this verse has the exact opposite meaning. Because Radharani is crying and weeping in the banks of Yamuna, in the middle of the Rasalila, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the forest, and Krishna has disappeared. Why she will glorify him? She is not sitting on the Vyasasan here. So she is saying, Krishna, Tava Katha, Mritam. Nobody should hear your Katha. Why? Because if they hear your katha, their bhakti will increase. And when their bhakti will increase, their love will increase. And when their love will increase, you will leave them. Sarcasm. <laughs> so, Radharani has kept the words so beautifully that those who are not at that level, they will take the meaning as tava katha, amritam. Krishna, so nice to hear your Krishna katha. But Radharani is not sitting on the Vyasa Sandir. She is complaining. She is giving formidable arguments why Krishna should return. So she is saying, Tava Katha Mritam. And what does it cause when you hear Krishna Katha? Tapta Jeevanam. You will flip and flap like a fish. Why? Because Radharani is a golden, wonderful damsel of Braja. That's like the fish. And Shama Sundar is the blue waters. 
generally you will see the fish is taken away from the ocean but have you ever seen the ocean hiding and the fish suddenly thinking where is the water rather than he saying my situation is like that Brindavan is the ocean Krishna is the blue complexion his emotions are the waves and the tides in this ocean and I am the golden fish this ocean has left in the middle of the Rasa Leela and Tapta Jeevanam how beautiful is Srimad Bhagavatam now Radharani is complaining at all those Acharyas Kavi Bhiriditam where are the Kavis Kalma Shapaham all of you said that distress will reduce my distress is increased therefore Radharani is not saying said by the devotees she's saying said by the poets why because the poets are always poetic not necessarily truthful <laughs> like for example if the horse is galloping very fast the poet will say the horse flew through the sky can the horse ever fly Kavi Jaha na pauche ravi Vaha pauche kavi Where the sun cannot reach There the poet's imagination has reached Jaha na pauche ravi Or kavi Vaha pauche anubhavi Radharani's anubhavi Experienced So where poets cannot reach Radharani's realization has reached So kavi beriditam All you great devotees Your words are only poetic You said shravana mangalam but the greatest mangal in my life would be meeting Krishna. Jaya Jaya Deva Hare Hare Jaya Jaya Deva Hare Jaya Dev Goswami Pada said Shri Jaya Deva Jaya Jaya Deva Hare Hare Jaya Jaya Deva Hare Hare Jaya Jaya Deva Hare Jaya Dev Goswami Father said the greatest Mangalam greatest auspiciousness for the living entity is meeting the lotus feet of Krishna Radharani is not able to meet Krishna. Therefore she says, Shravana Mangalam? Question mark. Not full stop. Not exclamation. Shravana Mangalam. Shravana Mangalam? You Kavis, you said it is very auspicious. What is Mangalam? Mangalam means meeting Krishna. He who is Mangalam, Mangale Bhyopi. The source of all Mangalam. He has left and left us behind like this. Therefore, Radharani says, Bhuvi Grunanti ye. In Sanskrit, the word Bhurida has two meanings. Da Dhatu in Sanskrit means to give. Dadati. Hmm? Annam Dadati iti Annada. Harsham Dadati iti Harshada. Jnanam Dadati iti Jnanada. Similarly, Sharada. Huh? Yashoda. Kirtida. Huh? But da also, bhuri da, da also is hanyate, to kill. So bhuri da can mean the preachers are the most merciful because they are magnanimously giving, bhuri da. Or the preachers are the greatest culprits because in great quantity, they are serial killers of material life. <laughs> bhuri da, they are killing everybody. Because they go and speak Krishna Katha. Radharani is saying, I am not saying. Radharani is saying, they will speak Krishna Katha. And now what will happen? Akinchani kritya padashritamya karoti bhikshum patige rahinam dhanam chamanam chayathendriyani pranan charitva mama sarva meva The person will start feeling there is no joy in this world. Atha griha kshetra suta apta vittaihi janasya mohoya maham mameti Amar Krishna Kothai, Amar Krishna Kothai. They will leave their home, 
comes and run to find Krishna and when they go like that Krishna will leave them and run into the forest this is the sarcasm of Radharani therefore she's saying I am trying to find who was that preacher who preached to me <laughs> who was that one who first said Krishna into my ear therefore she says Bhuvi ye Bhurida, that serial killer I am trying to find and because this verse glorifies Krishna Katha through sarcasm I hope you understand Radharani is not criticizing Krishna in Shastra this is the way of Vakra Ukti saying something but indirectly like for example when Mother Yashoda gets angry with Krishna Krishna is being very naughty Mother Yashoda will say stand there don't come close Krishna will come mommy Maya and you will come and embrace from behind oh mother so mother Yashoda will say don't don't touch me double negatives don't don't touch me Krishna touch me externally she's saying don't touch me don't don't touch me but through double negative she's saying don't don't touch me which means oh Krishna come embrace me from behind so when Shastra says don't hear Krishna Katha Radharani is saying Tava Katha Mritam don't hear what does that mean? oh only hear continuously hear Rupa Goswami Pada said Smera Bhangi Traya Parichita Sachi Vistirna Drishti Vamshi Nyasta Adar Kishalayam Ujjwalam Chandrakena Govindakhyam Haritanumiha Keshi Tirthopa Kante Ma Prekshishtas Tavayadi Sakhe Bandhu Sangeshti Rangaha Rupa Goswami Pada said If you want to be happy in this world cutting jokes with your friends please don't go to Brindavan If you go don't go to the banks of Yamuna <laughs> if you go to Yamuna don't go to Keshi Ghat and if you go to Keshi Ghat don't look at Krishna and if you look at Krishna whose name is Govinda and who has a threefold bending form and who presses his flute to his lips and who looks very beautiful on the full moon night under the Kadamba tree on the banks of Keshi Ghat on the banks of Jamuna in Brindavan if you see him close your eyes <laughs> what does this mean if he doesn't want you to go to Vrindavan why give so much description <laughs> what does that mean what does Rupa Goswami want us run to Vrindavan huh? so Shastra is saying the other way Mahaprabhu loved this word Stava Kathamritam Tapta Jeevanam so much that Mahaprabhu never gave mercy to Maharaj Prataparudra whenever Maharaj Prataparudra who is the king of Jagannath Puri wanted to meet Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would say Vishayi king always dealing with ministers and royal position and money and women che, I don't want to see him all the associates of Mahaprabhu their heart was broken because Maharaj Prataparudra was such a great devotee they would say once try meeting him once in the middle of Rathyatra Mahaprabhu was dancing and he fainted and Maharaj Prataprudra held and Mahaprabhu was in ecstasy he opened his eyes and he said Chief uh -huh. then Mahaprabhu said Nishkin Chanasya Bhagavad Bhajanon Mukhasya Param Param Jigamishor Bhavasagarasya Sandarshanam Vishainam Atayoshitanam Ha Hanta Hanta Vishabhakshana Topya Sadhu Mahaprabhu said anyone who wants to cross the ocean of birth and death should never look at a woman to enjoy and should never associate with people who are materialistic Mahaprabhu said better drink poison at least one life will be destroyed by their association many many lives are gone saying like this Mahaprabhu didn't look at Maharaj Prataprudra everyone tried Maharaj Prataprudra's governor was Ramananda Rai who was the dearest associate of Mahaprabhu Ramananda Rai and Swarup Goswami 
दिने हरि कीर्तन आर ईश्वर दर्शन रात्रि राय स्वरूप सने लीला आस्वादन चैतन्य चरिता में डिस्क्राइब्स महाप्रभु डू कीर्तन ड्यूरिंग द डे एंड हैव दर्शन ऑफ जगन्नाथ एंड एट नाइट टाइम होल्ड द हैंड ऑफ स्वरूप दामोदर एंड रामानंद राय एंड रेलिश कृष्ण कथा दैट रामानंद राय वाज द गवर्नर ऑफ महाराज प्रताप रुद्र व्हिच मींस महाराज प्रताप रुद्र वाज सीनियर इन रॉयल पोजीशन इमेजिन महाप्रभु डजंट लाइक टू लुक एट अस but the person who works for us who's getting paid by us on a daily or on a monthly salary he is mahaprabhu's closest associate it's possible maharaj pratap rudra could have got envious right if he was in any way materialistic any man would have felt envious but you know what maharaj pratap rudra did he relieved ramanand rai of all services he said you are serving mahaprabhu why you should draw any salary from me all your life you serve mahaprabhu i will give you gold coins every day he is not accepting me at least let him accept you and through serving you may he accept my service this was maharaj pratap rudra's mood by the kind arrangement of swarup sarvabhauma bhattacharya and ramanand rai after the rath yatra ceremony when chaitanya mahaprabhu was resting at the jagannath vallabh garden maharaj pratap rudra was told now you go and massage the feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu but don't go as a king because as soon as you go in a royal attire mahaprabhu will not like so maharaj pratap rudra <laughs> he removed all his royal clothes and wrapped himself in a white chadar like a mendicant and with his hand he took his dhoti cloth and his uttariya cloth and like a beggar he went like this and he went and mahaprabhu was resting and maharaj pratap rudra started massaging the lotus feet of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu was feeling so much joy tava kathamrit shloka raja je padila उठी प्रेमा वेशे प्रभु आलिंगन कैला दिस वर्स तव कथामृतम इज सो डियर टू द हार्ट ऑफ राधा रानी हु चैंटेड इट इन द गोपी गीत एंड सो डियर टू कृष्ण बिकॉज ही अंडरस्टूड ऑल द मीनिंग्स द हिडन मीनिंग्स व्हेन दे कंबाइंड एज चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड महाराज प्रताप रुद्र सेड तव कथामृतम एंड सैंग द होल वर्स महाप्रभु ओपन हिज आईज and he jumped and embraced maharaj pratap rudra till now maharaj pratap rudra was embracing mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu was saying vishay but now this one verse which glorifies the power of hearing the whole discussion today is about how we should hear and remember krishna this one verse where radharani is saying the power of hearing krishna katha is so beautiful that chaitanya mahaprabhu jumped and embraced maharaj pratap rudra to his heart and mahaprabhu started speaking prabhu kahe ke tumi kailo mor hit achambite pyaibo shri krishna lila amrit mahaprabhu held hand of maharaj pratap rudra and said prabhu kahe ke tumi who are you kailo mor hit you came on your own and spoke krishna katha to me achambit pyai bo shri krishna lila amrit by force you have given me krishna lila amrit through my ears who are you because when mahaprabhu got up and embraced maharaj pratap rudra was stunned so he stopped singing महाप्रभु सेठ सुनीते सुनीते प्रभु संतोष अपार बोलो 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 प्रभु बोले बार बार प्लीज कीप सिंगिंग प्लीज कीप सिंगिंग डोंट स्टॉप अपूर्व अमृत नदी वह तार मुख है अनपैरल नेक्टेरियन रिवर इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू योर माउथ प्लीज कंटिन्यू टू स्पीक हु आर यू प्रभु कहे के तुम ही कैल मोरहित you by force have come and spoken krishna katha to me who are you 
the king could have said i am the same king whom you call vishay <laughs> but maharaj pratap rudra when he was asked ke tumi kaila morahit who are you raja kahe ami tumar dase ranudas राजा कहे आमी तुम्हार दासे रनुदास भृत्यर भृत्य करो ऐ मोर आश यू आर आस्किंग हु आई एम टू यू आई एम द सर्वेंट ऑफ रामानंद राय हु इज योर सर्वेंट बट द प्रॉब्लम इज यू डोंट रेकग्नाइज मी लाइक दैट आमी तुम्हार दासे रनुदास बट भृत्यर भृत्य करो ऐ मोर आश माय डिजायर इज यू सी मी लाइक दैट महाप्रभु एम्ब्रेस्ड Ramanand um, Maharaj Pratap Rudra repeatedly and said this verse has captivated my heart Phew. Those who hear about Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu becomes so impressed to such an extent that he himself would go to Tota Gopinath and sit with Gadadhar Pandit and hear about Krishna and remember Krishna When Mahaprabhu lived in Jagannath Puri for 18 years, three hours every single day, Gadadhar Pandit and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu both would just discuss Krishna Katha. Now this is very strategic. Who is Gadadhar Pandit? Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Krishna. And who is Gadadhar Pandit? Radha Rani. And what is Shrimad Bhagavatam? glories of krishna agreed in krishna leela krishna's desire was he wanted to hear from the lips of radharani three things one how does it feel to be a devotee how does it feel to be a devotee krishna is bhoktaram sarvaloka suridam nyatvam krishna is the lord of everything gatir varta prabhu sakshi nivas sharanam surit prabhav pralaya sthanam nidanam bijam avyayam krishna is everything but he is not a devotee bhukti mukti siddhi kami sapali ashant krishna bhakta nishkam atha eva shant Chaitanya Charitamrit describes Many people worship the Lord to get material gains out of him Putravan dhanavan loke dirga yu rupa jayate Tam tam prapnoti Material desire Putravan dhanavan loke dirga yu rupa jayate we chant this in the narsingha kavacha but what is it fulfilling a material desire ultimately of course narsingha kavacha gives spiritual elevation but it also gives other things material desires and things like that fulfillment krishna is saying in chaitanya charitamrit ama bhaje bishaya mage ei bada murkh people come to me worship me and when i ask them what do you want they say can you give me a nice house can you give me a nice family it is like using a brahmastra to kill a mosquito what is brahmastra used for bigger things will you ever use it to kill a mosquito we never kill mosquitoes anyway coming to the eternal lord and telling him can you give me little bigger house ask for him tell krishna i want you mama janmani janmani ishwara bhavata bhakti rahai tu ki tvai but krishna saying not everybody comes to me like that manushanam sahasreshu millions bahunam janmanam ante at the end of many many lives siddhi the siddhas come to krishna and say give me some mystic power the dhyanis want to meditate to become one with god 
And then the devotees who worship, most of them have materialistic intentions. So Krishna is saying, Ama bhaje, you are worshipping me. And vishaya maage, ei bada murk. You are coming to me and asking material things. This is not good. Then how does Krishna solve this problem? How does Krishna solve this problem? Ami bitnya, ei murkhe vishaya kena diba? Nija charanamrita diye vishai bhulaiva. Krishna is saying, they will ask me for temporary things. I place my lotus feet in their heart. From that gap, from where poof, material desires are coming. I seal it. With M seal. Mukunda seal. Mukunda's lotus feet seals the gap from where there is a leak of material desires. So Krishna is saying, Ami bitnya ei murkhe bishai kena diba. People come and ask me material things, I don't give them. Just like the child comes and asks for fire, the mother never gives. Nija charanamrita diye bishai bhulai I give my mercy and make him forget material things. Amidst them, those who are selfless devotees, Krishna is amazed. They serve me. When I ask them, what do you want? They say nothing, more service. Okay, I'll give you service, but what do you want in return? More service. Krishna is not able, his, his system collapses. He can't understand. They are serving, but they want, the service is the fruit of the service. What to speak of the Brajbasis? Who love Krishna, who are ready to bind Krishna for the sake that in the future Krishna should not become a thief. And what to speak of Radharani? Therefore, Krishna wants to know from Radharani's lips, how does it feel to be a devotee? Prabhuji. Krishna wants to know from Radharani, how does it feel to be a devotee? Will Radharani ever explain? Actually, devotee feels very exalted. Will Radharani ever say that? If Krishna is asking Radharani, please tell me, how do you feel as a devotee? Oh, I feel I am most advanced. <laughs> I am the best gopi. Anyway, gopis are highest. Braja Vasis are highest and that gopis are highest in that I am the best. Will Radharani ever say like this? No. Why? Because those trees which have fruits, they bow down by the weight of those fruits. Namanti phalino vrkṣa, namanti guṇino jana, kāṣṭa kuṣuṣka kāṣṭascha murkhascha na namanti kadāchana. Those who are pure devotees, they feel na prema gandhosti. I have no love. Premera svabhāv jaha, premera sambandha, se mane krishna mor nahi prema gandha. I don't even have the scent of devotion. What to speak of ocean of devotion. So Krishna said, no, no, you have to tell me. There is no other Radharani. I can't go and ask anyone else. I must ask you. Please tell me how does it feel to be a devotee. Radharani said, I am not a devotee. Can you imagine? Krishna has all answers to all questions except one question. That only one devotee can answer and that devotee feels she's not a devotee. Then Krishna says, okay, second question. What qualities in Krishna do you get attracted to? Krishna wants to know from Radharani, is it my threefold bending form? Or is it my flute? Or is it my peacock feather? Or is it my singing? Or is it my dancing? Or is it my strength? What about me attracts you? What about me attracts any devotee? Now Radharani thinks about the qualities of Krishna and Krishna. And falls unconscious. Krishna says, no, no, hurry, go. <laughs> Please tell me what qualities attract the heart of a devotee. Radharani thinks of Krishna's strength or Krishna's fragrance. Saundaryamrata sindhu bhanga lalana chittadri samplavaka karna nandi sanarma ramya vachana kodindu shitangaka saurabhyamrata samplavabrita jagat Piyusha Ramyadhara Shri Gopendra Sutah Sakarshati Balat Panchendriyanyali Me 
all five senses of radharani are running behind each quality of krishna how can she describe she said i have no answer to this question did she answer the first question did she answer the second question now the third question krishna said okay last question how does it feel for a devotee when i reciprocate to their devotion krishna wants to know because krishna blesses every devotee so krishna wants to know do the devotees feel happy oh krishna is blessing me or do the devotees feel i am giving my whole life and he is only giving blessings <laughs> or do the devotees feel i did only little service but he is giving me more blessings how does a devotee feel radharani started thinking of krishna's compassion and she fainted <laughs> krishna said please answer there is nobody who can answer these three questions shri radha ya pranaya mahima ki drisho va nayaiva स्वाध्यो येनाद्भुत मधुरिमा की दृशो वा मदीय सौख्यम चास्यम मद अनुभवत की दृशो व्यक्ति लोभाद तद भावाढ्य समझ अनिशि गर्भ सिंधु हरिंदु कृष्ण सेड ओ राधा रानी इफ यू कैन नॉट आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन डू मी वन फेवर जस्ट गिव मी योर हार्ट प्लीज आई बेग यू कृष्ण टूक इज क्लॉथ एंड सेड आमी राधा प्रेम भिकारी Shri Lagor Govinda Maharaj writes. Krishna told Shri Mati Radharani, "If you don't have answers to these questions, please give me your mood. Then I can experience it myself. If someone asks you, 'How does it feel to eat a mango?' You will say, 'Sweet.' They will say, 'How sweet?' And sweet." just by saying that how will i get the taste so what will you do give the mango <laughs> krishna said if you can't answer those questions of mine why don't you give me your mood radha krishna pranaya vikrutir ladhini shakti rasmad ekat manav api bhuvi pura deha bhedam gatau tau चैतन्याख्यम प्रकटमधुना तद्वयम चैक्यम आप्तम राधा भाव द्युति सुवलितम नौमी कृष्ण स्वरूप इट इज डिस्क्राइब्ड टेकिंग द मूड ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी एंड कवर्ड बाय द ब्लैंकेट ऑफ हर कंप्लेक्शन समवन फील्स कोल्ड व्हेन दे कम टू बैंगलोर फॉर एग्जांपल let's say for example then the resident bangalore resident what will they do they will give a jacket or they will give a blanket they will say prabhu you may feel cold at night the temperature is going to drop when krishna asked for the mood of shrimati radharani's devotion radharani said you won't be able to handle it no past work experience no past work experience for krishna working as a devotee krishna has never been a devotee himself so radharani is saying if you take my heart and if you become radharani then when you say krishna your hair will stand on end your voice will choke tears will stream from your eyes your teeth will completely chatter and your body will tremble your skin will go completely pale and you will fall unconscious you will roll on the ground you will feel like jumping and singing and dancing and crying and running like a madman oh krishna you have no past experience of this therefore as i give you my heart i also cover you with the blanket of my complexion because my body is used to these ecstatic, ecstatic symptoms but your body is not so if you want my heart which is 440 volts of electric current then it is my duty to also make sure that you don't get the shock <laughs> krishna took that and shila jeeva goswami pad writes antaha krishna bahir gaura darshitanga adi vaibhavam krishna came in this world in kali yuga as chaitanya mahaprabhu and when he came as chaitanya mahaprabhu it is so amazing it is so amazing 
it is supremely amazing that when krishna came as chaitanya mahaprabhu radharani separately came as gadadhar pandit somebody may say i have already given you my complexion i have already given you my emotion my devotion why should i still come the answer given is when someone doesn't know to drive the car properly the experienced driver must sit in the passenger seat <laughs> krishna is driving the car of prema bhakti and he is going all over the place <laughs> nindantam pulakot karena vikasan nipa prasuna chavim his hair is standing on end voice is choking kanchana sadrsha deha aruna vasan pulak ashru kampa sved tahate bhushan as ramachandra bow and arrow was his ornament as krishna chandra the flute was his ornament but as gaura chandra crying for krishna hair standing on end voice choking rolling on the ground dancing and drowning the whole world in bhakti are the ornaments the supreme lord held by the mercy of shrimati radharani so when chaitanya mahaprabhu came to drive this car called krishna bhakti krishna prem radharani came as gadadhar pandit and never left him in navadweep they were together in jagannathpuri they were together and not just that there there are hidden secrets in gauralila what happens to a mataji after she gets married as far as her surname is concerned last name is concerned it changes to the husband's last name what is chaitanya mahaprabhu's last name the surname jagannath mishra's son is vishwambar nimai vishwambar mishra gadadhar pandit's father's name is madhav mishra so gadadhar pandit's full name is gadadhar mishra how come nimai vishwambar mishra and gadadhar mishra both have the same last name making connections gadadhar pandit is radharani nimai vishwambar is krishna and radharani has changed her surname to krishna's surname like the wife does after marriage to the husband this is connection between gauralila and krishna lila so when chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted to know about so who is chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna so in krishna lila in braj lila krishna wanted to know about himself from radharani now when chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted to fulfill that desire he realized all these three things by being a devotee but still that desire was there i want to hear all this from the lips of radharani herself therefore krishna as chaitanya mahaprabhu would go with the bhagavatam in his hand to gadadhar pandit at tota gopinath and keep the bhagavatam in front of gadadhar pandit who is radharani and say please speak from shrimad bhagavatam and he would move to verses which glorify krishna's bodily beauty what desire was unfulfilled in krishna leela in gaura leela chaitanya mahaprabhu who is krishna himself is getting to hear about himself through shrimad bhagavatam from the lips of gadadhar pandit do shrimati radharani and again and again and again and again chaitanya mahaprabhu who has come in this world to teach what we should be doing he is doing shravanam and kirtanam the topic of our discussion he could have come in this world and done anything else but remembering krishna in the association of like minded associates by hearing and speaking from shrimad bhagavatam this is all that we need in our life श्रीमद् भागवत अर्थानाम आस्वाद रसिकै सह सजाति आशये स्निग्धे साधु संग स्वतोवरे रूप गोस्वामी पाद सेड इफ यू वांट टू हिट द गोल ऑफ योर लाइफ 
find a like-minded associate and take a Srimad Bhagavatam and sit with him and study Srimad Bhagavatam, hear Hari Katha, remember Krishna, do Kirtan, this is perfection of life. You don't need anything else. The reason this big temple has been made is so that all of us sit here and read and chant and remember and sing and connect more devotees and create a Bhagavatam and Harinam Sankirtan revolution in this part of Bangalore. And who has taught this? Sri Shaitanya Mahaprabhu himself when he came as Suvarna Gaurahari. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in the golden complexion, <laughs> he taught this, the process of hearing and chanting. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was asked, how do we get Krishna Prem? How many of us want to know the answer to how to tap into Krishna Prem? Mahaprabhu said, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhyagabhu Noy Shravanadi Shuddha Chitte Karaye Udoy. He said, Krishna Prem, you don't have to beg outside. It is in your heart. But how do you awaken? Shravanadi Shuddha Chitte. In Vaishnava Association, hear about Krishna. Bas. Every day we must hear about Krishna. Then Mahaprabhu said, Bhajan Madhya Sarvasreshta Navabida Bhakti. Krishna Prem, Krishna Dite, Dhare Mahashakti, Tara Madhya Sarvasreshta Naam Sankirtan, Nira Aparada Naam Laila Paya Premadhan. Who will not fall in love with Chaitanya Charitamrit? How beautiful is this poetry? Mahaprabhu said, If you want Krishna, perform bhakti. If you want to perform bhakti, hear, chant, remember and worship the deity. If you really want to get to the essence, hear and chant about Krishna offenselessly and you will get Krishna praying. Mahaprabhu has said, Prabhu kahe Vaishnav seva naam sankirtan dui karo shikra pave krishne racharan Very quickly you will get Krishna if you hear about him, if you chant about him and if you remember him. Every day we should have a sadhana chart that we fill in. Brahmacharis and grihasthas, both. Boys, girls, children, everyone. And we should have a superior whom we can show our sadhana chart from one ekadashi to another. And we are saying this because today is an ekadashi. <laughs> Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur Mahashay has said, on the day of ekadashi, count an account. Count the number of holy names and account for how we have made progress in the last 15 days. Sadhana card. Every day we must hear about Krishna. Those who are living in the temple, they definitely have morning program which includes Srimad Bhagavatam. But grihasthas who are not close to the temple, those who are close to the temple, fortunate. You can just walk into the temple and hear Bhagavatam. But those who are living away, we should make it a point we hear about Krishna every day. We read Srila Prabhupada's books every day. We chant Japa every day. We follow our process every day. We serve in the temple as frequently as possible. And we report to our superior that this is my schedule, this is my lifestyle, how can I make advancement? If we don't have a superior whom we can show and get some mentorship advice as a mentee or as a counselee, how do we know where we are going? Who is the compass? Who will show us in which direction we are going? At what speed we are going? So daily we all should hear about Krishna. Do we all give this as a promise here from this Ekadashi onwards that even if we live outside, one hour of Krishna Katha every single day wasn't very satisfying. Thank you, very convincing. Wonderful, wonderful. There are wonderful initiatives from the temple, Mataji is saying. Please tune in. Hear Srimad Bhagavatam. Read Srila Prabhupada's books every day. Chant the holy name. Do Kirtan. Whenever devotees come together, don't waste time talking other topics. Shukdev Goswami has said, Shrota Vyadini Rajendra Nrunam Santi Sahasrasaha 
अपश्यताम आत्मतत्वम ग्रहेशु ग्रह में थी नाम दोस वर ग्रह में दीज दे हैव सो मेनी टॉपिक्स टू स्पीक लेट आवर टंग नॉट वाइब्रेट एनीथिंग एल्स एक्सेप्ट कृष्ण कथा वाचो वेगम वाचो वेगम डजन मीन माउनम विद्वान भूषणम आई विल कीप क्वाइट नो टॉकिंग ना वाचालम बिकम टॉकेटिव बट स्पीक ओनली अबाउट कृष्ण जारे देखो तारे कहो कृष्ण उपदेश नॉट जारे देखो तारे कहो अपना उपदेश अमार आज्ञा गुरु होया तार यही देश जारे देखो तारे कहो कृष्ण उपदेश न्यू कमर्स इन टू डिवोटीज एंड डिवोटीज इन टू बेटर डिवोटीज हैपियर डिवोटीज those who are hearing reading chanting serving and not criticizing those are the happy devotees and happy devotees are the best preachers do you agree devotees who are happy and enthusiastic they are bubbling with positive energy wherever they go unless we hear and read how can we speak about krishna yanna brajant yagabido rachana anuvadat शुन्वंति येन्य विषया कुकथा मतिग्नि हाते शुता हत बगै नृप आत सारस ताम ताम क्षिपंति अशरणेशु तमस सुहंत कैंटो 3 चैप्टर 15 टेक्स्ट 23 भागवत श्रीमद् भागवतम डिस्क्राइब्स इफ यू डोंट स्पीक अबाउट कृष्णा यू विल स्पीक अदर टॉपिक्स नाउ वी विल से व्हाट इज रॉन्ग विद अदर टॉपिक्स वन टाइम माय गुरु महाराज सेड स्पीकिंग वर्ल्डली टॉपिक्स इज वर्स देन हेल I went and asked my Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, how can we understand? Hell is so painful. Speaking normal topics in this world, how can that be worse than hell? My Guru Maharaj said, because when you go to hell and when we suffer, we are going up after that. But these topics take us to hell. These topics cloud our heart, contaminate our heart, and take us to hell. Once we are in hell, we cannot fall further. We will only come up. But this takes us there. Therefore, this is worse. <laughs> When he said that, it was like, "Wow!" <laughs> Should never gossip. Anything else? Only Krishna katha. Hari katha hi katha. Baki sab vyatha hi vyatha. Everything else is painful, waste of time. Therefore, hearing about Krishna, Shavana Mangalam. Huh? निवृत्त तरसई रूपकीय माना भवशत श्रोत्र मनोभिरावान क उत्तम श्लोक गुणानुवाद पुमन विरज्येत विना पशुघ्नाथ भागवतम डिस्क्राइब्स कैंटो टेन चैप्टर वन टेक्स फोर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ऑडियंस गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू कृष्ण कथा हू वन दोज हू आर प्योर डिवोटीज वाई डू दे गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू कृष्ण कथा प्योर डिवोटीज वाई डू दे गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू कृष्ण कथा because they have natural taste so upagiye mana they are again and again singing second those who get attracted to krishna katha those who are in this world and want to get out like all of us why they get attracted to krishna katha because that is the aushadi that is the medicine to get out third category of people who are in this world and want to be in this world they also get attracted to krishna katha i remember many years ago when i was about uh, 12 years old our in mumbai the building watchmen this was december marathon time book distribution right prabhupad marathon book distribution time so i went to him he was a building watchman i had marathi bhagavad gita and uh, other small books of shrila prabhupad i said please take this he said i have marathi bhagavad gita i said we have other books also he said bring that rasalila book <laughs> that book you bring in my mind i understood he is not qualified but i thought to myself krishna katha is so amazing it attracts those who are liberated because they have taste it attracts devotees who want to get out it even attracts those people who are in this world and don't want to get out <laughs> like the building watchman he has no clue he is stuck in this world but krishna katha is still attractive shukdev goswami says if it attracts these three audiences we have to be one out of these three 
in this world and don't want to get out, in this world and want to get out, or already out. Ka uttama shloka gunanu vadat. Still, if you don't want to hear about Krishna, I don't know what you are made up of, Shukdev Goswami is saying. Which category you are in, he is saying. Therefore, dear devotees, Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Every day we should hear about Krishna. It is described. Krishna Swadhamo Pakate, Tarmat Nyana Divisaha, Kalau Nashta Drishame, the Purana Kadu Noditaha. When Krishna left this world, he reincarnated as Krishna Katha in the Srimad Bhagavatam. By hearing, our hearts get cleansed. Please, everyone chant. Tava Vikriditam Krishna. Nruna Paramandalam. Karana Piyusham Asadhya. Tyajanti. Anyaspraham. Janaha. Bhagavatam describes by hearing Krishna Katha what happens. Karana Piyusham Asadhya. Nectar touches the ear and enters the heart and kicks material desires out. So if we are struggling with material desires, Vikriditam Prajabadu Viridam Cha Vishnu Shraddhan Vitaonu Shunaya Athaparna Yetya Bhaktim Param Bhagavati Pratilabhya Kamam Ridroga Mashu Apahinoti Achirena Dheeraha If you want to kick darkness out, switch on the light. If you want to kick anarthas out, let us not complain, I am angry, I am lusty, I am greedy. That's the darkness in the room. Find the switch of Krishna Katha and switch it on. And when that happens, seven benefits are there. Last words for today. Seven benefits about hearing about Krishna. Everyone ready? Yes. Pakka? Yes. Confident? Yes. Ready to hear the seven benefits? Yes. Avismritir Krishna Padara Bindayo Shinoti Abhadrani Shantanoti Sattvasya Shuddhim Paramatma Bhaktim Jnanam Vijnanam Virada Yuktam Bhagavatam describes that if you hear about Krishna seven benefits are guaranteed process has worked on thousands and thousands of people and it will work on us as well if you do it every day what are the seven benefits kshinoti abhadrani all astrological inauspicious positioning in the chart are destroyed abhadrani kshinoti second sham tanoti joy multiplies if according to our chart we should be happy only 10 units we will become 10,000 units happy. Third benefit, Sattvasya Shuddhim, heart gets cleansed of all anarthas. Better responses in life. Any situation comes in, we will be happy. I remember one Prabhupada disciple, very exalted Prabhupada disciple, he was giving class in America. And one lady in the assembly, I think she was not mentally stable. So she just got up in the middle and cut through the whole assembly. And this was a Prabhu who was giving a class, very exalted Prabhupada disciple. This Mataji, she was not a devotee, she was a complete new American. And I think she had some psychological issues. So she just got up in the assembly, walked all the way, and there was a cup of water that was kept for him to drink. She picked it up and in front of everyone poured it on his head. And you know what he said? He said, Prabhupada said we must bathe three times. I bathe only twice today. Thank you, Mataji. <laughs> this was my third bath. Can we give response like this? Greatness of a person can be ascertained by his or her ability to tolerate provoking situations. If you can't tolerate provoking situations, forget about pure devotion. Even bhakti has not begun. Greatest devotees, surprise challenges. Krishna will test them with provoking situations and the response is flying colors. Seven benefits. First benefit, all suffering destroyed. Second benefit, happiness gets multiplied. Third benefit, heart gets cleansed, consciousness gets cleansed and responses in life, better. Fourth, Paramatma Bhaktim. 
devotion, pure devotion at the lotus feet of Krishna rises. Now fifth benefit, sixth benefit and seventh benefit. Jnanam, Vidyanam, Viraga Yuktam. Jnanam means you will see all the scriptural knowledge will live in his heart. And psh, rivers are flowing out of his mouth, his or her mouth, whoever the devotee is. All Divya Gyan Ride Prakashita. You don't have to read so much. It's like coming from within for pure devotees. Knowledge increases, transcendental knowledge. Sixth benefit, Vidyanam. While living in this world, they are constantly seeing Krishna on a practical front. Never forgetting Krishna. Whatever may be the circumstance, they are remembering Krishna. And seventh benefit, Viraga Yuktam. Completely detached from all allurements of this world. Seven benefits in the Bhagavatam guaranteed for those who hear and chant about Krishna. Gauru Premanande. from Amarinapur's father also. So he will speak for two minutes. Hare Krishna. I don't know what to speak, honestly. But Prabhuji very lovingly instructed me to speak something. Just, uh, I can only say that, you know, this has been a very ecstatic and memorable spiritual spiritually charged blissful yatra for us because we as a family of course my daughter-in-law also was, was with us until the first uh, two or three programs so we have been moving and it becomes spiritually charged only when we see so many good you know devotees around us he is uh, very nicely presenting only because he is getting good audience. So, as parents, we feel greatly indebted to each and every one of you, right from the youngest devotee here to the most senior most Vaishnava here. We all only want to beg before all of you to keep blessing both Amarinder Prabhu, my elder son, and also Arjun Sakha Prabhu, who was here. Uh, about a month and a half back, he could not visit this center. So, so that both of them can further enhance their spiritual standing. It can happen only through the blessings and can please each and everyone's heart and fill our hearts with more and more Krishna Katha. So that the unfulfilled or ever, you know, emanating material desires they are completely washed away. So, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you on behalf of our entire family because today is the last day and tomorrow early morning we are taking a flight uh, to Mumbai. So, please keep us in your daily prayers, each and every one of you. And the same thing I want to convey to all the previous congregation centers of Bangalore. So nicely, every center is cultivating that this is, you know, if I remember, our first visit to Bangalore for, uh, in, as a devotee was probably 20 years back, but there was hardly any centers like this. But today, it is so transformed and so many centers that we are feeling more and more inspired. So thank you very much once again and we, we really seek your heartfelt blessings. Hare Krishna.
So we will have Kirtan now for about 15 minutes. So you can kindly sing with all your heart. Let us meditate and let us pray that may Sri Krishna accept us eternally at his lotus feet we don't want to pray anything else this last kirtan as we are singing for tonight please sing as if this is the last kirtan of your life ready everyone Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Yes. 
Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मछुआर हरे कृष्ण हरे Krishna Hare Jai Radha Ve 
Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare
जय कृष्ण बल राम जय कृष्ण बल राम जय प्रभुपद जय श्रील प्रभुपा नाम संकीर्तन के हरे कृष्णा सो लेट्स थैंक हिस्स ग्रेस अमरिंदर प्रभु एंड हिस्स पेरेंट्स वेलकम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम बैंगलोर फ्रॉम मुंबई टू बैंगलोर टू आईसीसी सो थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रभु फॉर स्विचिंग ऑन द लाइट इन एवरीबॉडीज हार्ट सो द डार्कनेस ऑफ माया इज गॉन एंड कृष्णाज लाइट हैज स्विच डॉन प्लीज कम अगेन How many of you want Prabhu ji to come again? So please come here every year. So let's thank Prabhu ji for one standing Hare Krishna mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So prasadam for all the devotees is arranged in the. Old building, Prasadam Hall, and the corridor. So please.